Coming up today, this edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Dekayo Siddle will recap two home games last week for UNCW, a rare split for the Seahawks. We'll have highlights coming up. Our player profile introduces us to Makoa Surigao, third year member on this team, a local product as well. We'll have our play of the week, the player of the week. Take a look at those conference standings with just two weeks left in the regular season and the Seahawks on the road the next two games as well. We'll preview those contests. All that straight ahead, this edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. It starts right now. Anticipated pass. Oh, Whitfield dunk this time from Trezaria Wright. Instead of dunk for Horton Hayes. Come on, pressure it! Pressure it! Well, UNCW, a rare split this past week, winning against ANT, falling at the buzzer against Elon. Mike Vicaro here alongside Takeo Siddle and Coach uh, slipping out of first place, but still two weeks left in this regular season. You're playing some key matchups. Other teams around the, the top four playing some key matchups. It's going to be an interesting finish in the league. It is. Um, and, and like I told you, Mike, all we can really do is take care of ourselves, um, let them beat up on each other. You know, everything will kind of, you know, it'll pan out the way it's supposed to. Um, the main thing for us is to keep having good days and make sure we're playing good basketball as we head into uh, the conference tournament. We'll play some good basketball Thursday against North Carolina A&T. A tight first half, as you mentioned on your radio show, they made some wild shots in that first half, but second half defensively for you guys was, was off the charts. Yeah, and we knew going into, um, you know, we went into the locker room, we talked about it. They did throw in some, some crazy shots, some lucky shots, um, but we didn't do a great job of making them miss and making them feel our presence. Um, so when we came out in the second half, we wanted to lock down defensively and let that turn into some offense for us, and that's exactly what we did. Part of that, Shaikin Phillips, a big second half, 18 of his 24 points coming in the second half, and uh, again, he took over when needed to. Yeah, um, he continues to deliver for us. Um, you know, in a, in a game where we were a man down and uh, one of our better scores, um, you know, Shaikin knew he had to step up, and uh, right from the, from the jump in the second half, he came out, he was really aggressive, and um, you know, he was a huge reason why we won the game. Yeah, one point shy of his career high. Great performance, especially in the second half for Shaikin Phillips, helping lead UNCW to the win against North Carolina A&T. Let's take a look now at the highlights from Thursday night in Trask Coliseum. Top of the key, left wing to Phillips. Griff sets the screen, rolls to the basket. They get it to him down low, avoids the defense, lays it off the glass. Contest. Phillips on the right side. Drives past the defense. Turns it off to the Griff and he'll it home. Back a 2-3 zone, left side Phillips, left corner Jenkins, Jenkins his own buster, hits the three in the quarter. Three and short rebound, flying in there, Ross drops it to Jenkins, Jenkins high, it's on it! Boy, he stepped in that one, that was from NBA ring. He's rises at the free throw line, the shot halfway down, popped out, rebound, put back for Eric Vanderheim. He grabbed the rebound with one hand. The shot clock, 10 days, right side, dribbles it in. Near sideline, Harden Hayes. Harden Hayes three is good. Rattan Hayes, Harden Hayes connecting. Doobie. Vanderheide in top of the key. Jenkins gets a handoff, screen set. Three is good for KJ Jenkins, his third three. He's three for three. It's 29 22 units. Defended by Shell. Into the paint, spins back. Shot up and in off the glass for Jackie Phillips. Now for UNCW. Try to push it here. Seahawks could have numbers. Phillips. Has it right, oh, nice crossover on Duke. And he lays it up and in. Gets right back to Phillips, top of the key. Moves it right all the way in, and the layup is good. Boy, the defense just kind of gave him a lane. Good way to Hodge. Hodge now with seven on the shot clock, gets a screen. He'll drive it down the hill, attacks, and the bank. Nolan Hodge with seven. 73-54 final score that kind of tells you the defensive effort in the second half. Only 21 points in the second half for North Carolina a &T. Coach, only 23% shooting as well. Maybe your best defensive effort that we've seen in a half this season, and, and certainly things switched around in that second frame. Yeah, it, certainly, it certainly was, and, um, you know, that was the message. You know, we have to continue to grow defensively, and 
uh, be who we are. Uh, you know, and that's a team that's connected. That's a team that's uh, flying around and having each other's back and um, rebounding off the first shot um, and then letting that turn into offense. Um, so I'm very, very proud of the guys for the uh, defensive effort that we put on in the second half. And um, we just have to continue to build on it. Yeah, talk about the rebounds. 40 rebounds in this game for UNCW, out rebounding the Aggies 40 to 26. As mentioned, Shaquem Phillips with 24 points. Also, KJ Jenkins and Malik Harden Hayes with 12 apiece in this victory. The fifth consecutive win for UNCW. We'll take a break here when we get back. We'll talk about the homecoming game from Saturday in Trask Coliseum, UNCW and Elon, the second meeting between the Seahawks and the Phoenix. That's straight ahead. Stay with us. It's Ford Truck Month, and it's time to say yes. Yes to making tough jobs easy with F-150. Yes to a truck that can tow it all. Yes to power and smart technology. And yes to the best offers of the year on America's best-selling trucks. Find all your yeses during Ford Truck Month. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months with up to 4150 package savings on select Ford trucks. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Hey, grab me one too. Now at Hardy's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. I'm just being myself, cool as can be. Hardy's two for five dollar breakfast bake goodness into your morning. Choose a biscuit with sausage and egg, biscuit and gravy, or a country fried steak biscuit. And now enjoy breakfast till noon every day. Hardy's goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Well, coaches, we talk about often you going from Thursday to Saturday that that quick turnaround. As you said, everyone's got to deal with that. But I, I know this part of the season, this late in the season, it's it's not easy on the bodies of these kids. Right, and on uh, on their mind, Mike. You know, having to. Uh, you know, quickly flip from one game plan to the next, um, you know, being at home, you know, they're, they're going to class and uh, they have so much going on. Um, so mentally it's taxing on them as well. Uh, physically, we try to do as best as we can. Um, we, we're getting them as much rest as possible. Um, so those days in between are, are kind of touchy. Uh, you don't want to do too much, but you want to make sure that, that they understand what we need to do to give ourselves the best chance to win. I think we've been doing a really good job of it so far, uh, but this late in the year, we have to maybe tweak a few things to try to uh, make it a little bit better. Second meeting with Elon, you win up there, big first half, they come back, make it interesting second half. So your thoughts going into this second meeting with them? I, I felt like they would play, um, you know, and they had been showing 40 minutes of zone. So we knew we were gonna see a lot of zone. Um, I knew that uh, they had been playing a lot more physical as of late. So I knew we were going to have our hands full. Uh, and they're a good young team. You know, if they can keep every all of those players together, uh, they can have a really good team here for the future. Um, we knew we knew what they were capable of on the offensive end. and um, So we knew we had our hands full. And uh, we knew we were going to have to play one of our better games. And uh, I thought we played well. Um, you know, we had some stretches where we really struggled defensively. And I think that's what... Um, you know, cost us to lose the game. Sell out crowd inside Trash Coliseum from Saturday night. Tough ending for UNCW. Let's take a look now at the highlights. Bear better on oh, a couple of screens and the lob. Phillips to McGriff. Set that up perfectly with a couple of screens on those two high defenders. The baseline down low, another high low. Reverse lane is good for McGriff. So Phillips consistently gets in that soft spot in the zone. They collapse, he sees the cutter. Tied against Smart, double team, right corner to Phillips, quickly Newby, Newby three is good, great, great ball movement, quick ball movement, led to a great look in the 34-3 this season 
Up by three with the ball, trying to double the lead, and he does. K.J. Jenkins a long three from the left wing, his first three of the game, 72nd three of the season. UNCW, a chance to push, bounce pass to Newby, transition three from the wing for Newby is no good. Oh, the tip follow for the lead card of Hayes. And a timeout taken here by Billy Taylor and Elon. Jenkins bounce pass the elbow to Phillips. 15-foot jump shot is too hard. Gets his miss, though. Under hands to Harton Hayes. Right corner three is on it. Second chance opportunity. He knocked it in. Another assist for Shaikin Phillips. 15 on the shot clock. Looking for a good shot here. Newby to Jenkins. Jenkins three. And that's a good shot. Around the rim and through for K.J. Jenkins at a timeout for Takeo Siddle to Newby. Bounce pass in the right wing to Harden Hayes. Out front, Newby quickly, Jenkins. Jenkins, three, good. That could have been a foul as well. He didn't really have space to come down. Phillips back to Newby. Newby, shot fake. Little push off, down low on the block to White. White, hook shot around and in, and he's fouled as well. Jenkins, near sideline, Phillips, 10 on the shot clock. Looking to drive, stutter dribble, his man lost his footing, and a shot put, shot good for Shaikin Phillips. Well, once again, the tip in at the buzzer there. The Seahawks come up short, 73-72, the final score. And, uh, Coach, uh, again, uh, in a scramble like that, it, it's tough to, to get a body in everybody. Clock winding down and uh, just a, a big tip in at the yeah, end. And they, made a, they made a good play. Um, you know, we had some things that we were trying to do that we didn't execute, um, which led to them getting to the rim and, and, and getting a shot up. And uh, we didn't block out. Um, but, you know, like I told the guys, uh, yesterday in, in our meeting, you know, it's all part of God's plan. It wasn't, you know, in the plan for us to win that game, um, but it was in the plan for us to learn a lesson and uh, refocus and reset uh, as we go down the stretch. Uh, so, I, you know, I took nothing negative out of the game at all. Five and double figures of positive. Kamari McGriff, 14 points, attacking that zone early on. He was uh, automatic down low. Yeah, he's been doing a good job finishing around the rim all year. Uh, he's one of our better finishers, if not our best. Um, he continues to grow for us, um, and, and that's a positive for our group. You know, we have really good guard play, and, um, you know, on the inside has been, um, you know, kind of up and down for us, but he's uh, provided some stability at that position, and uh, he's been pretty consistent as of late. So once again, a rare split on a week in conference play for UNCW. Snap their five-game winning streak. You're trying to get that uh, streak going once again this week on the road. We'll talk about those matchups later on. Right now, we take a break. When we get back, it is Makoa Siragao. He is our player profile. That's next. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family-owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns, as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. Game day at Walk-Ons is just different. And it starts with the way our teammates prep each dish from our scratch menu. No shortcuts. We are hand cutting every single mozzarella log straight from the block. Hand peeling, stuffing, and bacon wrapping each voodoo shrimp. Hand carving ribeyes for our steaks and po' boys. And hand slicing, then tossing our boneless wings and our house-made sauces. With wall-to-wall -wall TVs and food like this, why would you want to watch anywhere else? That's game day, the walk-on's way. Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Fortune with Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Excited to be on the UNCW campus today to talk to you about this week's Medical Minute. Shoulder injuries are extremely common in sports, recreational, and job-related activities. These injuries can range from chronic overuse injuries to traumatic injuries like shoulder separations, dislocations, and even rotator cuff tears. Sometimes injuries can be prevented, but sometimes with traumatic injuries they are not preventable. 
But we always talk about preventative strategies to try to limit their effects. One of the biggest things to consider is rotator cuff strength as well as upper back strength in addition to good posture throughout your day. As always, if these symptoms persist, please come see us at Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Our goal is to support you with easily accessible world-class care for all your orthopedic and sports medicine needs. Preparing for the big game, athletes practice countless hours year round. Then it's game time and their fans get to see the results, cheering on their team to a win. At Coastline Insurance, we're working hard behind the scenes, preparing for when you need us, because we want our customers to be our biggest fans. Let Coastline Insurance shop your coverage and find out why we say, when we shop, you win. Find us online at coastlineinsurance.com. Today's Pepsi player profile introduces us, maybe reintroduces us, to uh, Makoa Surigao, coach a, a third-year player, local kid from Laney High School here, and uh, uh, certainly this is a kid who's a, is a walk on this team, but again, he's getting some opportunities to play at times this year. Yeah, and, and aside from that, Mike, he's a special young man. Like, I love him to death. Um, we talk all the time. Um, you know, he's uh, very smart. Um, you know, he's about the right things. Our guys love him. Um, you know, he's a UNCW guy through and through, and uh, you know, I'm so glad he's a part of our program. His dad's a Campbell guy, so he's got one up on him this year and a chance to maybe get two up on him uh, by the end of the season. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. Uh, you know, it's uh, a split, you know, so he has to wear the split um, UNCW Campbell shirt when we played in. Uh, but no, they're, they're a great family. Um, you know, I love them. Love them to death. Uh, communicate with them a lot. Um, you know, I couldn't ask for a better situation. Well, John Smith sits down now with Bacoa Surigao. Here is our player profile. Welcome back. John Smith joined here with Bacoa Surigao. Uh, back again, third year with the Seahawks, the local New Hanover product, uh, played at Laney High School. I remember, you know, two years ago, you, you just wanted to, you know, contribute, be a part, work hard. How have you grown as a player, just yourself and, and your role uh, with the Seahawks? I think I've grown a ton. I think that a lot of times in situations like this, confidence is a big part of it. And I think that Coach Siddle and the coaching staff have done a great job of allowing me to play my role and play my role very well. Uh, I think that a lot of times in my situation, you can get discouraged a lot of times being a walk-on who doesn't play a ton. But I've been super excited and super blessed to be able to contribute in a lot of ways. Uh, I've a lot of felt, a lot of times felt like the leadership aspect has grown as I've become more accustomed to the system. The thing is, like you said, a lot of players get discouraged. You're now in your third year here. That says a lot about your character and, and your passion for basketball here. How has your relationship grown with the coaching staff? And is there maybe a little bit more respect knowing that you've been here this long, that they, they realize you're, you're here for the long haul? Absolutely, I think so. Um, all that I always forget is that I've been a walk-on here for three years, like you said, and I've been a walk-on with, because usually you have two, I've been a walk-on with four other guys in three years, um, and none of them are still here. And so I think that that is a real testament to, like you said, my character, which I appreciate. And I think that it's just, it's a necessary resilience to be able to do what I'm trying to do. You've seen this team grow. What or how do you change the expectations or the mindset when you're picked at the bottom and now you're picked closer to the top? Yeah, it's true. I always, uh, Coach Siddle likes to say that at one point we were the hunters and now we're the hunted. And I think that that's a very good way to explain it. The conference pickings oftentimes don't really matter, but a lot of times people will look at them to try to, you know, make predictions on what they think is going to happen. And I think that it has more to do now with our consistency in the process. Uh, you're, no, you're no longer an underdog. You're going to get everybody's best shot every night. For you, what was the the preseason like? What was this summer like? Because I know that Coach Siddle kind of said this is going to be different. This, this isn't going to be the conditioning. This is we're getting ready for the season. What was that like? Well, it started early. I think a lot of times for a lot of programs, especially I know for the guys coming in who are new to the program, they sort of start off slow. Like they kind of ease into it. And a lot of times you'll have skill work for, for weeks on end in the preseason just to try to get like bodies ready and try to build confidence. But Coach Siddle felt that it was important, and I agree, to sort of 
not only build skill, but also build team bonding from a chemistry standpoint. So we started things like team practice probably you know, multiple, multiple weeks before most programs in the country would have started. And I think that you can see it. I think that this year, the major difference with our team is the chemistry between the guys. Expectations when you're here, the, the conference season is going to be a, a grind. Uh, this conference, you know, one of the best mid-majors when you, you know, you have the likes of Charleston yourself. Um, games here, what does the crowd and the fans when they pack Trask mean to you, but also to the team when you have those crazy atmospheres when it was the first time there was a, a conference opponent ranked in the top 25 in, in, in College of Charleston last year. What does that advantage mean? I think it's huge. I think that the crowd really plays into the energy level of the, the game overall, and I think that everybody knows it. If you look at our uh, non-conference schedule, almost nobody wants to play us here at Trask, which I understand. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to play us either. But a lot of times they, it makes it so that we have to go on the road because being at home is such an advantage. Flipping back to you, you've put all this work in. Do you have more expectations for yourself to, to have that opportunity to play when the, the games are out of hand? Or do you still have to have the mindset of when you started? Well, for me, I think that it has more to do with the perspective that any opportunity that I'm given, I'm appreciative of. My freshman year, I struggled a little bit with a comparison aspect of, you know, between two things. But I think now, even in practice, all the time, you know, you have guys that are out with, you know, sprained ankles. You have guys that are out with ailments. So I think that stuff like that happens all the time, and it's necessary for me to always be working on my game and to always be ready. When you get in there, the the fans always kind of they they, they get excited about that. Do. Does, how does that get you going? And as a walk on, they want you to shoot, put up a shot. You still have to play within the system. Is that difficult? It it is difficult actually. I'm not really the kind of guy that really enjoys the spotlight, but I think a lot of times they almost want me to shoot more than I want to. And so I've been trying to work on balancing the doing what I'm supposed to be doing when I'm in there. Because I try to take it obviously serious. A lot of times when I'm in, it's not very close anymore. So I try to make sure that I take it as serious as I can so that I can prove that I would be able to go in when it's close. But I appreciate the backing of the fans. They get very, very loud when it comes to me. Well, we appreciate you joining us. We'll be right back. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. It's Ford Truck Month, and it's time to say yes. Yes, to making tough jobs easy with F-150. Yes, to a truck that can tow it all. Yes, to power and smart technology. And yes, to the best offers of the year on America's best-selling trucks. Find all your yeses during Ford Truck Month. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months with up to 4150 package savings on select Ford trucks. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Hey, grab me one, too. Now at Hardy's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardee's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardee's app. I'm just being myself, cool as can be. Hardy's two for five dollar breakfast bake goodness into your morning. Choose a biscuit with sausage and egg, biscuit and gravy, or a country fried steak biscuit. And now enjoy breakfast till noon every day. Hardy's goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. We go back to Thursday's game with A&T for our play of the week. And as Shaikin Phillips took control of the second half, here's one of the key plays in that second frame. Now for UNCW, got a push in here. Seahawks could have numbers. Phillips. Right. Oh, nice crossover on Duke. And he lays it up and in. 
Well, once again, Shaikim Phillips, big second half in that game Thursday against a t with 18 of his 24 points, and you saw two right there, Coach. Nice little crossover move, and, uh, well, he is, again, his handles and what he's able to do continues to improve as the year goes on. Yeah, I was looking at that play, Mike. I'm like, did he mean to do that? But, you know, that's, that stuff happens when you're, like, always in the gym and, and working on your game. It's just instinctive for you to, you know, make that move at that time, but... Um, I can't say enough good things about him. You know, he means everything to our program and, um, you know, somebody that I know I'll have a lifelong relationship with and I only want to see him succeed in life. Certainly is doing that. He is also our Carolina Ford Dealers Player of the Week. Really good numbers for the week. Average 17 points, shooting 61% for the field, four rebounds, seven and a half assists, three and a half steals as well. The assists, really good numbers for him again when you look at only three turnovers during those two games as well. So I think you know, you're seeing him as your, your point guard right now, and his numbers as a point guard certainly off the charts. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's the best point guard in the league. Um, I, I, you know, I put that against anybody. Um, but, you know, in, that, in the um, uh, Elon game, he had eight assists in the first half. I thought he was on pace to, um, you know, setting a record. But uh, <laughs> we missed too many shots in the second half. But... You know, he's, uh, he's developed in a major way uh, with his decision making. And, um, you know, he's a guy that we're going to give the ball to and, and trust to make the right decisions. Yeah, finished with nine assists in that game, a uh, career high tying nine for him. And also, how about this? Just the third Seahawk in his career with 1,300 points, 400 rebounds, 300 assists, 200 steals. Brett Blizzard, Chad Tomko, and now Shaikin Phillips. Pretty good company for him. Very good company. Uh, elite company. Um, you know, he's one of our greats. And, I'm so proud of him. Uh, I didn't know that until, until we talked about it. Um, but that's a special, special thing right there. And, and to be top 10 in scoring um, in, in um, school's history is uh, pretty impressive. So he's put together a really good career. Now we need to cap it off with an NCAA tournament berth. Yeah, moved into the top 10 on Saturday in the scoring charts in school history. So congratulations, our Carolina Four Dealers Player of the Week. It is Shaikim Phillips. We'll take our final break back to take a look at the standings and the week ahead on the road for UNCW. Stay with us. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. Game day at Walk-Ons is just different. And it starts with the way our teammates prep each dish from our scratch menu. No shortcuts. We are hand cutting every single mozzarella log straight from the block. Hand peeling, stuffing, and bacon wrapping each voodoo shrimp. Hand carving ribeyes for our steaks and po' boys and hand slicing, then tossing our boneless wings and our house-made sauces. With wall-to-wall -wall TVs and food like this, why would you want to watch anywhere else? That's game day, the walk-on's way. Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Fortune with Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Excited to be on the UNCW campus today to talk to you about this week's Medical Minute. Shoulder injuries are extremely common in sports, recreational, and job-related activities. These injuries can range from chronic overuse injuries to traumatic injuries like shoulder separations, dislocations, and even rotator cuff tears. Sometimes injuries can be prevented, but sometimes with traumatic injuries they are not preventable. But we always talk about preventative strategies to try to limit their effects. One of the biggest things to consider is rotator cuff strength as well as upper back strength in addition to good posture throughout your day. As always, if these symptoms persist, please come see us at Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Our goal is to support you with easily accessible world-class care for all your orthopedic and sports medicine needs. Preparing for the big game, athletes practice countless hours year round. Then it's game time and their fans get to see the results, cheering on their team to a win. At Coastline Insurance, we're working hard behind the scenes, preparing for when you need us, because we want our customers to be our biggest fans. Let Coastline Insurance shop your coverage and find out why we say, when we shop, you win. Find us online at coastlineinsurance.com. 
Well, it is certainly getting interesting at the top, even at the bottom of the conference standings right now with two weeks left in this regular season. Our Hardy CA standings, we see that Charleston alone in first place right now. UNCW tied for second place. But coach, again, uh, very wig little wiggle room for all these teams. You've got to win your games that you need to and then win other ones to continue to keep pace with everybody else. Yeah, you know, the goal is to, for us, if we had goals, we would try to win a regular season title. Um, but we got to get a top four seed. Um, that's the main thing, um, but you, you only can worry about yourself, you know, whatever is going to happen to the other teams, you just let it happen, but we have to take care of ourselves, continue to have good days. Um, on game night, we got to be, be ready to go, no matter who we're playing against, and got to try to get the job done um, so we can set ourselves up to be in the best position uh, when we go to the tournament to give ourselves the best chance to, um, to win it all, so that's the main goal. Well, for UNCW, it's two games on the road starting Thursday at William & Mary and then Monday at 8.30 at Campbell University. Let's talk about William & Mary here again, a team you know, below you, bottom of the standings. But again, these are the, the dangerous teams trying to get out of there and, and move up. They're looking for a big win and a big win for them at home. Yeah, everybody's playing for something. You know, they don't want to be uh, playing on that first day. Um, so they're trying to work their way up. Um, they want to knock off one of the top teams. It's at their uh, home court uh, where they're really good at. Um, and, and Dane's a really good coach. Uh, and they have really good players. So it's going to be a tough game. All of their games have been close for the most part uh, in conference play. So we're going to have to be dialed in. We're going to have to be ready to go in there and fight. So UNCW, the Tribe, the uh, lone meeting of the season in Williamsburg, Virginia on Thursday. That game, 7 o'clock, 6.45 our airtime on the breeze, the Sunrise Radio app as well. And then Monday in Bowie's Creek, 8.30 tip, 8.15 our airtime again on the breeze, the Sunrise Radio app. That game also on CBS Sportsnet as well. So two games, Coach, your final two road games of the regular season here. Best of luck this week. Thank you, Mike. Again, for Takeo Siddle, I'm Mike Vaccaro. Also for our director, it is uh, Riley Dance behind the scenes. We'll see you next week for another edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. Anticipated pass. Oh, Whitfield on this time from Trezaria Wright. Instead of dunk for Horton Hayes. Come on, pressure it! Pressure it! <laughs>